In this series of tutorials, I'm going to focus mainly on the scripting, on the action scripting to create games in Flash. But you are going to need to know some basics about how to create small animations, reusable pieces of animation, and how to bring in assets and graphics, and to create little animated pieces or sprites or characters for your games, right? Your games are going to need assets, and Flash has a great interface for creating those pieces. So let's quickly go over some of the basics on how you can create some graphics or some assets in Flash. So I'm going to point out that we have the selection tool right here and I'll switch down here to the oval tool or the rectangle tool. There's the rectangle tool. There's the oval tool. And I have here down here these color chips. This is for the stroke which is a line and this is for the fill which is a color fill. And if I draw a oval, an ellipse, or a circle, you can see that the fill is white and the stroke is red. So in Flash, in these vector graphics, you have fills and you have strokes. Now I can select this white fill and then change the color, let's say, and that'll automatically change it. I can highlight this stroke and I can change this color, let's say, like that to blue. I can highlight the stroke. Probably can't see the difference right now. Let me change that again. Let's change that to red again. And I can change the size of the stroke over here to four pixels. Hit enter. And now it's a larger stroke. So these are two separate pieces. If I select the inside piece and drag it, you can see it's separate from the stroke. Now I'll do control Z to back that up. Now if you drew your um, ellipse right here or your circle and you didn't get these dotted dots that might be because I'm going to stretch this toolbar out a little bit that might be because you have this check marked the object drawing mode uh, option so if I check mark this draw object drawing mode and I draw the circle you see that the item is grouped inside of a blue box and that's done so that it's easy to move around and unlike this piece where you can just kind of separate the two vectors the blue box helps to keep everything kind of in one piece now I don't care much for this um, object drawing option so when I have my oval tool selected or some of these tools I like to keep this object drawing mode off and I'm just gonna get my selection tool highlight this and then press delete on the keyboard and if I want to group these items together, control Z, I will double click or click and drag to highlight both pieces, right? And then I'll do a modify, let's say group or something like that. Okay? I can also do a modify break apart and put it right back into just a shape. So these are called shapes, fill and a stroke. Now once again I can switch that, let's say, to the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle and you can see that I have the fill and the stroke. I can change the stroke to the slash here indicating no stroke and now if I draw it you can see it's just a fill. Right? I'll put that back on a color. All right. Also they have the pencil tool. I can take the pencil tool and set the pencil mode to straighten, smooth, or ink mode. Let's try smooth and I can draw let's say a curved line and it should be smooth and it's fairly smooth and you can see that this curved line is a stroke right it's not a fill so the pencil tool creates strokes the paintbrush on the other hand if I once again stretch this out a little bit bring up the tools I can set the size and I can also set the type of brush that I want and the paintbrush once again. There's the paintbrush and there's the spray brush. I'll just use the brush tool. And if I do this, you can see this painted with the green because this is a the paintbrush or the brush uses a fill and the pencil uses a stroke which is this color right here. So paintbrush for fills, pencil for strokes. Okay? And the line tool here is used for drawing straight lines. You can see it draws straight lines. Um, so anyways, these are some of the drawing tools. Once again, the paint bucket, 
paints fills. So I'll switch that to let's say blue. And you can see that paints a fill. And if I hold down the paint bucket, I can switch to the ink bottle. And the ink bottle will basically ink strokes. So I'll change this to let's say yellow. And then click on this on the edge right here on the stroke. And you can see I can change the, the color of the stroke. So these are some of the basic drawing tools that you have in Flash. You can also import graphics from, let's say, JPEG images. You can import PNG images. Um, you can import uh, images that have transparent backgrounds or transparency in them. And those will go in the library. So if you're not very handy at drawing vector graphics, which are take a little getting used to, um, you can also import graphics from Photoshop or places like that. Now I will switch back to my black arrow here, my selection tool, and click and drag a large selection box around all of these items and then press delete on the keyboard. I'm also going to select, select the background here or click on the background and change the stage color back to white.